The CBI has claimed that each household benefits to the tune of £3,000 a year as a result of our EU membership. Independent observers have condemned that as a dishonest figure. Do you still stand by it? Um, we do stand by it. It was a literature survey mm. of, um, it, it, of existing uh, studies um, because we wanted to put together mm. something that was easy to understand. We're not saying it's accurate. We're not saying it's definitely the right number. It's not but we're saying, But we're saying that it... Because estimates like that are very difficult to do. And actually, to, as, you, uh, as you know, there was a range put around it. I mean, I think what we are saying, to put, be absolutely clear, standards of living have doubled since the UK joined the European Union. They've gone to about £20,000 household income to about £40,000 of household income. We are saying the proportion of that has been as a result of membership of the right. European Union well, and that independent studies would support well, that. Except, and you're right, you did no original research for this at all. No, we never you claimed did, to. A, a, we I never understand that, to. I'm explaining to our viewers. You simply did a survey of research papers but it turns out when you look, actually, you cherry pick those research papers that had pro EU conclusions. That is you, not. Well, you true. did not. You, you did not use. I've got the list of the ones that you mm. didn't use here. You admitted the IOD. You admitted the National Institute for Economic and Social Research. You admitted the IEA. You even admitted the U.S. Trade Commission uh, survey of what it meant, all to get this three thousand pound figure, which Andrew, you now tell me isn't accurate. It is not true. The evaluation that we did of the different surveys, we omitted as many that were on one side as on the other side, and they were on the basis of very clearly set out criteria. There's a 20-page paper mm. on this, which anyone can go and read, which uh -huh. sets out the methodology uh, very, I know, very but accurate. you just seem to be biased against those that didn't come to the conclusion you want. Ch I mean, don't take it from me. Channel 4's respected fact check concluded, quote, the figure is not based on any real evidence. The chairman of the Treasury Select Committee described it as, quote, a scandalous misuse use of data and intellectually dishonest. And we went back to him and we set out the facts because I don't think he had read the paper. It is not intended to be anything other than a, 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 an assessment of consensus views over the last 10 years. Just not, um, I mean, there's nobody more consensus than the National Institute of Economic and Social Research, but you didn't include that. The House of Commons Library did include these and gets a different result. I think that the really important thing now is to be focusing on what we, this would mean for the decision for, no, you're for the country. People, rather you're than... telling people that households would be £3,000 a year worse off if we were to no, leave. No, that's not what the... Or you're saying no, that we're £3,000 better off by uh, remaining. 